Horses are on the track for the seventh race at the Illinois State Fair. The Review Stake Grand Circuit event for three-year-old pacing fillies. $40,000 on the line, no show wagering. Here are the starters. Number one, Ruby's Beach, owned by Brian Penske Stable, Incorporated of Downers Grove, Illinois, and by White Birch Farm of Allentown, New Jersey, trained and driven by Brian Penske. Couple of the wagering, 1A, Nancy Topaz, owned by Brian Penske of Downers Grove, by Tom Crouch of Lexington, Kentucky, trained by Brian Penske. The driver is Dave McGee. 1B, I Fall to Pieces, owned by Brian Penske Stable Incorporated, again of Downers Grove, Illinois, and by Penske Stable of Plato, Minnesota, by Vernon Shire Stable and Roger and Don Sampson Stable of Chicago, trained by Brian Penske, Dean McGee is up. Two Jenna's First Lady, owned by LNL DeVisser, Limited Liability Corporation, James Jones and Jerry Makala of Holland, Michigan, trained by Joseph Siekman, Dale Heitman, the driver. Number three is Armbro View, owned by Tana Mira Farms, Limited Liability Corporation of Dick Cooley of Felton, Delaware, trained by Irvin Miller, the driver is Andy Miller. And number four, Turn It On, owned by Kelly Prins, by Judith Smith, they are from D-Land, Florida, and by Jerry Fortino of Chicago, Illinois, trained by Irvin Miller, the driver is Tony Morgan. Seven minutes until post. Again, no show wagering on this race. Here they come. They're off and pacing. Nancy Topaz goes out for the early lead. Ruby's Beach is there to the inside, followed by Jenna's first lady. Armbro View out in the center of the racetrack is away, racing in fourth, heading on to the first turn. Turn it on as next to last, I fall to pieces, trails the field. Up front, there goes Armbro View to get the lead before the quarter mile mark. Armbro View is on top by just over a length. Nancy Topaz second by five. Ruby's Beach is third. Jenna's First Lady is fourth, 27 and one for the opening quarter. Turn It On is racing next to last, and I Fall to Pieces trails the field as they move toward the half mile mark. Armbro View on the lead by a length and a half. Andy Miller trying to get her to rate her speed as they approach the halfway juncture. Followed by Nancy Topaz, five more lengths to Ruby's Beach. Then Jenna's first lady who takes toward the outside, followed by Turn It On and I Fall to Pieces. Racing by the half in 55 and 4, Armbro View is on top by a length and a half. Then Nancy Topaz, Turn It On, moves up on the outside third now around Ruby's Beach. And then Jenna's first lady, I Fall to Pieces, is racing at the back of the pack as they move on the far turn but trying to move up from last and now is in the fifth position. Approaching the three-quarter mile mark, they're being led by Armbro View. Turn it on as second by a neck. Nancy Topaz has no racing room, third toward the inside. Then I fall to pieces, Ruby's Beach and Jenna's First Lady. Three quarters and 125 and three. Armbro View leads it by a length to turn it on. Eighth of a mile to come. Armbro View leads it by a length and a half. And now Nancy Topaz, hence racing room, she's buried toward the rail. Turn it on as third. Now Nancy Topaz has an opening. Armbro View has the lead. Here comes Armbro View and turn it on. Turn it on. Gets it by a head on the line. Turn it on. Gets up. It is close for second either Armbro View or Nancy Topaz for place in one minute, 53 seconds flat. By Kelly Friends and Judith Smith of DeLand, Florida, and by Jerry Fortino of Chicago. Trained by Irvin Miller for his second winner of the day. Driven by Tony Morgan for his second winner of the day. Number four, turn it on. Review President John Cisna presenting the Caretakers Medallion, which goes to Kelly Prins. Time for the mile, one minute, 53 seconds. By a tick is a new lifetime record for this Jate Lobel filly bred by Meadowlands Farm of Pennsylvania. Let's see if we can grab Tony Morgan real quickly before he gets too far away. Tony will join us now in the winner's circle. Come on up, Tony. Second win of the day. First of all, this is a filly that according to the track program, if you have driven her before, it's been a long time back. When you come in a day like this and you've got a mount on a filly that you haven't been driving, how do you prepare yourself for the race strategy? I just score down and look over the competition a little while I'm scoring and that's about it. Just kind of see how things go in the closing minutes before the race. How about this, when you're in Chicago, you drive on the half mile track at Maywood, you've got the one mile track at Balmoral Park, 
where the straightaways are long and the turns are a little tighter. Here you've got big turns and shorter straightaways. Does that affect your driving strategy at all when you come to the state fair? Yeah, this track's set up a lot different than what Balmoral is. Uh, a lot different uh, driving strategy. It's just a completely different uh, game plan as it is at Balmoral. I tell you what, your timing was uh, perfect in that seventh race. Congratulations on the win. Thank you. That's Tony Morgan, the winning driver for the seventh race. The rundown is up next.